at Sylvan Lake. Her writing at the time really clicked with the people. Site manager Dave Fox narrates Jean Stratton Porter history. And she's still to this day Indiana's most widely read female author, but she was really at the forefront of anything you can imagine. She was an amazing photographer, entrepreneur, writer. Uh, she owned one of America's very first movie production companies. She was born on August 17th of 1863 in Wabash County, Indiana, a Hoosier to her core. Porter had 11 siblings. And although she never finished high school, she was well-read and became a scholar of ecology and wildlife. Her father and mother really gave her ownership of all the nature on their 80-acre farm. So that really started her interest in the wild things of the area. 21 books would follow. She would go on to buy 120 acres on Sylvan Lake in Rome City. Land yeah. that is well studied by Hoosiers all across the state. First time here for me, yes. I'm blown away, I just love it. I will come back definitely. <laughs> There's a bee. <laughs> Sally Burkhoff. After we had spring fling. Is the president of a garden club. This is bed number one who Dave Fox gave a tour to while our cameras were there. She built a 4,300 square foot cabin, uh, the carriage house, a bathhouse, boathouse, her garden shed, a 1.2 acre garden. Today the land is maintained by the Indiana State Museum and Historic Sites. Porter died in a streetcar accident in 1924. It happened in Los Angeles, but 75 years later, her remains were moved back to Indiana and were laid to rest near her cabin in wildflower woods. She came here because it was so pristine and beautiful and she actually wanted to donate it to the state in the early 1920s to become a state park. So the wish always was for it to remain just as it was when she came here and fortunately those wishes were honored. 